was at an interfaith concert last night, and there was a choir on stage of about 30 people towards the end of the concert singing a very poignant, beautiful song. But two people were carrying on a conversation behind me. And so finally, I turned and I looked at the two people talking, and they finally turned and looked and saw that I was looking at them, and I just stared at them, and then they, and they quieted down. So then when the concert was over, this woman came up to me, and she said, oh, I am so sorry that I was mindlessly talking during this song, and, and please forgive me, and I said, all is well. So I, for me, I don't know if I had a grievance, because I know you were talking about just being okay with what is, Part of me thought that I could have just sat there and listened to the choral piece and simply just been with the angels. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a grievance in the sense that everything we think and say and do teaches the universe and, and you were just in a state of, of appreciation and really in a state of, of wanting what is the good of the whole. And I, I feel in this situation, the Spirit was just using you for yourself and for the good of the whole to just turn around. And it was a perfect answer when there was, I'm so sorry, and you say, all is well. Um, all is well and always has been well. You know, it's, it's that state. Reminds me one time I was in Florida and I was at a Christian retreat center and I was holding a Course in Miracles gathering. Uh, upstairs and um, we were watching, we were using metaphysical movies and we were kind of going into it and all of a sudden, uh, and right below the room, like a whole lobby right below where we were in this room, uh, a whole group of people, I think it was a large um, Latin American group uh, from maybe many different places and countries, uh, maybe over a hundred people came in and they were, it was so boisterous and so loud that we, we couldn't e even continue on with what we were talking about. And uh, it was so funny because my friend Kirsten just went, and she just got up and she walked out the door and, and then within like 15 seconds, everything was completely silent. And she walked back into the room and everyone went, Wow, <laughs> what happened there? And she didn't even even have to say a word. She had done the same thing. She kind of stood on the balcony, like like Mary Baker Eddy or something, <laughs> 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 and just looked down. And all the women, there was a lot of women, and they were just boisterous and just happy. They kind of felt her presence and love up there in the corner, and they all just kind of looked up and they all went. You know, and it was just a beautiful reflection of like a hundred, hundred people just feeling, oh, there's some presence here and we need to be still. So yeah, I think it's just beautiful. I think you're just really so, tuned in. And that, so that's not forcing the form to change, it's just mm -hmm. the good of the whole mm -hmm. and spirit will lead perhaps what is the good of the whole. Yeah, Great. exactly. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I do feel it's like, um, it's really a call to, to everyone to join you in the same experience of the heart. That's what it is. It's, and the Spirit is using the form of you to just speak that up. And sometimes that's what the lesson is, there to speak up. And I feel it's important to, to just trust that too. And not always thinking, oh, I cannot change the form. It's not about not trying to change the form. It's about allowing the form of this body to be used the way the spirit feels it's best for everyone. And if there is an idea that maybe I'm correcting or maybe um, I'm having a grievance, that's what needs to be forgiven. But the guidance is still the guidance. And so just taking the step is beautiful. I did feel strong guidance that I was to turn and look at her. And so um, but I think the problem with me sometimes is I second guess the guidance. And that's a lesson for me because what you just said really resonated with me is, is, is don't always second guess stepping into an action that is a brave action. You know, a lot of times it's just, oh no, don't turn around and look at that woman. Just sit there and pretend to be polite and mind your manners. Yeah, yeah. you were just answering a call for love. And um, I had another example years ago. I was at a 
at a retreat and we had a Sunday morning service and during the Sunday morning service it was a time of silence. So we were in the pause of like five minutes of silence and then we were all there in this church and we were in our silent period and then outside of the church this uh, rap music started. It was uh, like a rap music and boom box. I could see the woman who was in front of me, in this case, was, was very disturbed uh, by the, the rap music and everything. And so after the silent period, she, she just couldn't hold it. She just said, this is disgraceful. This is absolutely disgraceful. I come here for a retreat. I expect the grounds to be silent and reverent and holy. And this was perhaps even a neighbor or whatever. And she was very, very upset and very angry. And I, who's going to stop this? And who's going to go out there? And she was really getting quite angry and quite flustered by the whole thing. And for me, I just was tuned in. It was, it was the most wonderful, mystical, metaphysical lyrics in the, in the rap music. <laughs> I was just, I was probably moving to the beat back there, you know, behind her. And so, at one point, I was called to speak up and, and say, pause a moment, just, just, let's just listen to what the song is saying. <laughs> and it was very, very deep. And everyone went, oh, you know, and she went, Oh, you know, everyone just got it at the moment that we got. She, she had just made a judgment against the sound without even letting in the lyrics or let, let, appreciating it with open-mindedness. So uh, I think that that's an example of, of a situation where there's a grievance that's being held. And that's just a call for love too. And when the Spirit spoke through me about, listen, let's just pause a moment and listen to the lyrics. And that was again answering yeah, it's like there is never any general rules, you know, it's like never make any conclusion that it has to be that way or it has to be a certain way or this way or that way. It's just let the form be used in the most helpful way in each and every moment.